preterm birth babies have a high risk for attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. According to a new population-based study, published on August 24, 2015 in Pediatrics. Minna Suxdorf MD, and colleagues from the Department of Child Psychiatry, the University of Turku in Finland says. Infants born prematurely or those who demonstrate poor fetal growth are at an increased risk of developing attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, and this risk persists even among early term infants. Each declining week of gestation increased the risk of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. This emphasizes the significance of each gestational week for later neurodevelopment. Poor fetal growth increased the risk of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Researchers evaluated data from 10,321 patients with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder along with 38,355 age and sex matched control patients to determine the association between gestational age and weight and the risk of developing attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. The researchers found that the risk of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder increased by each declining week of gestation, after adjusting for confounders such as smoking during pregnancy, parental age, socioeconomic status, and parental psychiatric history. The authors found an increased risk for ADHD among infants determined to be small for gestational age, noting that infants born more than two standard deviations below the mean gestational weight had almost double the risk of having a diagnosis of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Even the late preterm infants, 34 to 36 weeks, as well as early term infants, 37 to 38 weeks, had a modest, but increased, risk of developing ADHD, which can translate to a substantial number of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder cases at the population level. Multiple factors may be at play, including disruption of cortical development and myelination, as well as factors that influence preterm labor such as infection, immune-mediated processes, or stress. This emphasizes the importance of taking into account both prematurity and or fetal growth when planning follow-up and support policies. Thank you very much.